Hey, this is Jeff Carpenter, Data Stacks Developer Learning Team, and I am going to walk you through our new implementation of the Spring Pet Clinic application. It's a reactive uh, implementation using Spring Webflux, Data Stacks Astra, and a few other goodies. Going to need a free database running in Astra. You can click on this link here which will take us to Astra where we can create an account or if you already have an account, you can log in from there. So this walks you through the instructions for your getting your account created. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and yeah, I don't have any databases now, but I'm gonna add one database. Uh, Google, Google Cloud US East One. And I think I'll name this um, Spring Reactive App and I'll just use a key space name of spring and I'm going to say my database username is, is Jeff and I'll create a simple password oh, longer than seven. Yep. And, uh, all right. And I'll create my database. So this will take just a couple minutes to get rolling. Now, all I'm gonna need to do is watch for my database to change to active. And then um, I'll, once it goes active, I'll copy my credentials. So I'm gonna do that. I'll scroll down here in this window. All right. And I'll copy the credentials. Okay, so I've got those. It's time to launch in Gitpod. Now, if it's your first time using Gitpod, you'll need to log in and it's something that you can use. Uh, you can use your GitHub login if you want and that would be just fine. So this will take a minute to uh, pull some Docker images to build up the environment, which would include um, some of the dependencies that we have as well as uh, running the front end application that we're, that we're gonna need uh, for this app. So. This is almost done downloading it and then it's gonna build for us. All right, now the build has finished and it was successful. I see here that it's prompting me to paste those uh, credentials that I copied a minute ago. So we'll do that and then we should be good to go. Now you can see it's starting the pet clinic application. The next thing that happens is uh, we see that there should, it says there a new tab should be opened and I noticed that there is a uh, service available so open that up and this gives us the Swagger UI for our Sp Spring Pet Clinic application reactive and so I can actually use this to invoke the service over its API. I can operate uh, my REST API for this reactive application right uh, from this Swagger UI right here. Flipping back to my instructions, I see that I can successfully celebrate now that I have the Swagger UI up, but uh, we actually have an Angular application that is part of the Spring Pet Clinic ecosystem. So yeah, I wanna run that existing front end. So uh, it says that there is another terminal named Spring Pet Clinic Angular, and I can see that down in here. And it says, oh, I need to say yes to the question about analytics. It's gonna send some usage data, that sounds fine to me, and this will run. All right, now we see that it compiled it successfully and another service is available. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's loading. All right. All right, and I have my uh, Spring Pet Clinic app running so I can go through and test this. I can add owners, I can add new veterinarians, I can uh, get and put all the different types uh, and the uh, relationships between them, assigning specialties to owners, and searching by specialties, and all these great
functionality within the application that I'm going to get out of the way and give you a chance to explore. All right. Well, that is pretty much the guided tour of this application. Um, switching back to the README again, you see that there are instructions available here to where you are freely available to run this demo on your desktop if you want instead of using this uh, Gitpod route that we took. And there's some great um, descriptions in here of the different elements within the architecture, how this application is put together uh, in terms of a, a microservice that uh, implements all of this with some of these different DAOs that are available inside it um, and how everything is wired up. So I encourage you to read through this and browse through the source code. And this could be a great jumping off point for you to build your own application. Um, and the goodies that I mentioned include being able to see metrics on the application using Prometheus and to do some distributed tracing with Zipkin. So uh, as promised, there's a little bonus for you here at the end that I'll encourage you um, to take a chance to explore.